That, once again, guys, was no other God like you, but none other than Dr. Tom Ray. And if you knew what I do on a regular basis while I'm doing my show, you'd laugh. You would laugh. But I can't tell you some of the stuff that I do. Not because it's dirty. and It, it is dirty, but not dirty in a sexual way or anything like that. But it's just... It's a family-friendly show. And I'm trying to be as family-friendly as I can. And I don't want to talk about... Things that... You know... Let's just put it this way. There's some, there's some times when I have to use the bathroom during the show. And I'm playing a certain song... And I mean, I got I literally got to fly around the house just to get back just in time for the song to end. So you're not wondering why there's dead silence for about five, ten minutes. <laughs> so it's not easy doing the show, but this show, is it's worth it. It's not easy, but it's worth it. With that being said. Yeah, my coffee is nasty. It's cold. Don't get me wrong. I love iced coffee, but the iced coffee is chilled all at the same time on ice. It's not like coffee when it sits in your mug for about 20, 30 minutes and then gets stone cold and it's been sitting there for 30 minutes. That's that's what I don't like. I don't like it sitting there for 30 minutes and getting cold. But I don't mind iced coffee to where it's already chilled all at once at the same time it hasn't been sitting there at all. That's what I like. So with that being said, guys, let's pray. Lord, we come back before you, Lord, and we ask you to write this message on the tablets of our heart that when we depart, Lord, it will not depart from us. We thank you, Lord, that you are having your way in this ministry and that you, Lord, are having your way in each and every one of our lives that when we need anything from you, Lord, we don't have to say we have to see it, Lord, because we don't. We know that you'll do it. If you did it then, you'll do it now. So, Lord, we thank you that we are going to partake in your word, partake in the message that you have given us tonight, for tonight, I should say. We praise you, we thank you, we honor you. It's all in the matchless name of Christ that we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Let's go to the Lord Clap offering on that note. So with that being said, guys, I did not put my my things in today, my bookmarks, but it's okay. I'm already in the first, well, I'm already at almost the first scripture. Okay. Uh, so I already told the joke let's look at a few scriptures shall we and this is something God spoke to me last night and I'm glad that he did because this is this is a topic that a lot of people need to hear about And I talk about a bunch of different things. But the main thing I want to talk about today, where are we at here? How come I can't find chapter 5? Huh, I can't seem to find chapter 5. There we go. And we're going to mark that spot. So we are going to, come on, my Bible marker. I got this little piece of uh, cloth, something or another inside my Bible that allows me to mark a page. So we're going to use that to mark that page right there. And now that we got the page marked, we can begin to look at a few scriptures. So the first scripture we want to look at today, and our message is entitled today, 
Is your mind made up? So again, our message title for today, Is Your Mind Made Up? Let's look at a few scriptures. Now, if I started saying by, uh, in this message we will learn, or whatever the case is, or even if I gave you a, a question, it it will already be the end of the message, because it will give it away immediately. So, let's look at a few scriptures. So our title today is, Is Your Mind Made Up? Our first scripture is Luke chapter 8, verse 34. So open your Bibles with me if you got them handy. If you're on your cell phone, you got those as well. What I should do is I should put a Bible right in the actual app itself. That would be a cool idea. Put a Bible in there or at least put um, like a, a Bible button that when you push on it, it will allow you to open up the Word. That would be a cool idea. How in the world I would do that is a different story. I have to contact some people to see what I can do. But that would be a great idea. Put a Bible uh, b- book search in there to where you can look up different books of the Bible. But right now you can do that through the uh, the, the uh, Google search bar too. So let's look at a few scriptures. First one is Luke eight forty three through 48. So Luke 8, Luke chapter 8. 43 through 48. So Luke chapter 8, verses 43 through 48. So starting at verse 43. Now a woman having a flow of blood for 12 years who had spent all her livelihood on physicians and could not be healed by any, verse 44, came from behind and touched the border of his garment, and immediately her flow of blood stopped. Verse 45, And Jesus said, Who touched me? When all denied it, Peter and those with him said, Master, the multitudes touching the multitudes throng and press and press you and you say who touched me verse 46 but jesus said somebody touched me for i perceived power going out from me now when the woman saw that there was not when the woman Okay, when the woman saw that she was not hidden, she came trembling and falling down before him, she declared to him in the presence of all the people the reason she had touched him and how she was healed immediately. And he, verse 48, and he said to her, Daughter, be of good cheer. Your faith has made you well. Go in peace. Okay. In other translations, this is the homecoming edition, the homecoming Bible. In most translations that are KJV, this is new KJV, it says this. It says that she she said to herself, if I just touch the hem of his garment, I know that I'll be healed. And then she touched the hem of his garment and Jesus who touched me. He goes, look, man, everyone's touching you. He goes, no, I felt the virtue leave me. Somebody touched me. And so most translations says that, but this is the new KJV. So number one is uh, Luke chapter 8, 43 through 48, and it's the woman with the issue of blood. Let me read my comments here. For 12 years, she had this issue of bleeding a lot and was fed up with it because... Back then, if you had an issue like that, the whole city slash town would disown you and call you unclean. And she had enough of it. You can tell by her saying, if I only touch the hem of his garment, I know I'll be made whole. By your faith, Jesus said to her, 
you were made whole. So the first is the woman with the issue of blood. And she had that notion that if I just touch that hem, if I just reach up and touch just a fringe, the hem means fringe, just a fringe. You know what the fringe is? It's just the, the little bottom parts of the garment. If you touch just that little bottom part of the garment, I know, I know that I'll be healed. Okay. Scripture number two is John 5, 1 through 9. Let's go to, let's go to John chapter 5, 1 through 9. While I'm doing that, while you're getting ready for John 5, 1 through 9, I'm going to look at my last scripture and mark that page. Okay, so John chapter 5, 1 through 9. Go ahead and look that up real quick. And I'm going to get the last one real quick. That's again chap John. Let me make sure I got this right now. Last one is, oh, the next one, yeah, is John chapter 5, 1 through 9. So John chapter 5, 1 through 9. And I'm getting the last scripture out and prepared. Okay, this is the... The next scripture is here. And yeah, right there. So I got the last scripture. Okay, John chapter, this is John chapter 5, 1 through 9. So starting at, starting at verse 1 of John chapter 5. John chapter 5 verse 1 reads this. After this, there were a feat there was a feast of the Jews and Jesus went up to Jerusalem now there is in Jerusalem by the sheep gate a pool which is called in Hebrew I can't read that Bethesda it's B E T H E S D A. Beth, Beth, Sada. I can't pronounce that. Anybody who knows what that is, let me know. B E T H E S D A. Having five porches. In, 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 having five porches. Yeah, having five porches. In those lay a great multitude of sick people behind. A multitude of sick people, blind, lame, paralyzed, waiting for the moving of the water. For an angel went down at a certain time into the pool and stirred up the water. Then Whosoever stepped in first after the stirring of the water was made well of whatever 